Hi everyone, my name is Penny, also known as Wacky Witch Astrology on YouTube. Today I'm making a video about how people will break your heart. Dun dun dun! And the reason why I'm doing this is because my tarot deck basically told me to. I pulled the Three of Swords, which is all about heartbreak. So we're gonna see how this goes. And before I jump right into it, I'm gonna open myself up and make myself vulnerable because this is a heavy, heavy topic. Heartbreak sucks. It will like basically damage you for life. And you know what? Some people move on better than others, but I am like not one of those people. I still like, I am a lunar Capricorn and I stay damaged and it's hard for me to recover my heart. So my worst heartbreak um, was my husband. We were married for a certain amount of years and then we decided to have a kid together. And shortly after we found out that I was pregnant, he cheated on me with someone else. And that's basically when we started trying to repair the relationship and then it still didn't work out. And then eventually that lead, led to our separation, which eventually led to our divorce. And now I am the divorced woman that I am today. Um, but I would say that I am happily divorced for the most part. But my ex-husband was a cancer um, before he became, you know, sort of kind of dead to me. He's still technically alive, but that's why I say that he was a cancer before he was like yesterday. So now I'm going to get into it. And um, I know this is just a video based on sun signs because not everyone knows what Venus and Mars are in astrology yet. They don't know how to find theirs, but I have videos about how you can find it. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. And I have videos on Venus signs and Mars signs and articles on Venus on my website and lots of very extensive stuff for relationship advice. But here we go with the sun signs. Aries. Now, Aries break your heart basically just being by the just the just by being the fantastic little rams they are. Now, most Aries have very good intentions, and these are the Aries that are easiest to fall for. You know, the nice, sweet, admirable people that they are. Like, oh my gosh, what great leadership abilities and all that stuff. Now, the Aries that are just complete assholes. Um, those aren't as easy to fall for, and to me, they're not really as big of heartbreakers. But either way, an Aries probably isn't going to even realize that they broke your heart. Because if they decide that you two aren't right for each other, and then they're just going to move on. Like, it's easy for them to just accept those realities and stuff, unless you make them work really, really hard for something. So... If they didn't have to put much effort into the relationship, it's just easy come, easy go, and I'm going to go now because that's what I do as an Aries. Although I'm not really an Aries, I'm just channeling or something. <laughs> so next we have Taurus. Now Taurus is the bull, and they're very stubborn, very sensual, very erotic. Um, they love food, or at least they pretend to love food. They love everything that is sensual. And the way these people will break your heart is if you're just like too interested, like you like them too much, you work too hard, you put too much effort into it, and that's just very unattractive to them. Like, but, I mean, they don't like hard work. They don't like, um, you know, things that are demanding or expecting a lot or anything like that. They just want everything to be chill. And really, I think Taurus usually wants to be the one that has to put more effort into the relationship. Otherwise they lose interest. Next up, we have Gemini, the twins. And Gemini is just floaty and light and happy and conversative, if that's even a word, like a balloon. And they float around and kind of like Aries, a lot of times they won't realize their effect on people. They may not realize that what they say or what they do hurts people. So they're, especially if their Venus is in Gemini as well, they're more likely to try and play the field a little bit, you know, get to know everyone a little bit, decide who they want to date. They're kind of a flirt. And I mean, they'll flirt more than they'll actually like pursue a relationship because Gemini is known for being all talk and maybe they're not all talk, but they still talk a lot. So um, they're going to flirt with a lot of people and they're going to see who's interested in them and who's an option for them. 
but they might not necessarily pursue that relationship. Um, one time I went on a date with a Gemini and it was just one date. But on the first date, he told me that he hoped he would be the only guy that I would see from now on. And I was kind of overwhelmed by that and caught off guard. But basically, I straight up told him, um, no, that's not going to happen. Um, and then after that, he like didn't even talk to me at all. So uh, that, that was kind of weird. And I was a little bit upset because I did actually like him. But that's the, that's the closest I've ever been to having a Gemini break my heart. Next up, we have Cancer, the crab. Cancer is very concerned with family and they want things to last. Um, they are very clingy when it comes to relationships, just as they're stereotyped to be, but they don't just move straight forward and they don't continue at a steady pace. They'll be backwards and in and out, like I'm not sure if this is actually what I want or not, and they'll move all around the subject of their affection so, I mean, this can be hard to deal with. Cancers are going to like break up with people repeatedly before actually like deciding to commit. And maybe even after they do commit, they're not even sure they want to stay committed. So I think that's really how they end up breaking people's hearts. And especially if there's something that hurts them early on in the relationship, uh, they don't let it go. They don't forget anything that happened. And they do have a little bit of a spiteful edge. Like they'll try to get revenge on that time you hurt them, even if hurting them was an accident. So maybe say you're a Gemini and you accidentally hurt your cancer. Well, they're gonna come back at you with a little bit of a mean streak. So the next sign we have is Leo, which is actually my sign. And I don't really think I break anyone's hearts. You know, I'm just, I'm just so nice and, and innocent. But if I did, <laughs> Um, it would probably be by being hard to forget. Leos make a very big impression. They're show-offs. They're going to, they don't want to half-ass anything. They want to do everything to the best of their possible ability. And they're going to make themselves really memorable. So if you think about, you know, your, your best and your most romantic date you've ever had, it's probably going to be that Leo that you've had like a one night stand with. Not that I've ever done that before. <laughs> Okay, so next up, we have Virgo, the virgin. Now, when we hear the word virgin, we think someone who is inexperienced, maybe kind of dorky, it hasn't had sex all that much, if at all. Um, but that's not in line with the classic meaning of the word virgin. The word virgin actually used to mean the sacred prostitute. So that would be someone who is very experienced in the realm of sex. But you can kind of see Virgos acting on both sides of things. You know, Virgos that are hypersexual and then Virgos are like, who are afraid to even have sex because they feel like they're not gonna be good enough at it. Um, and Virgos, I feel like will probably be one of the few signs who if they break your heart, it might've actually been intentional. Been intentional. Like it was well planned out and they probably actually did it out of their own fear of having their own heart broken. And they think they basically need to attack, like psychologically attack someone before they are attacked. So that's just my two cents on Virgo. Um, I've never really dated a Virgo though. So if I'm wrong, feel free to say something in the comments about that. Next sign we have is Libra, the balance scales. So Libra is all about what is fair and what is not fair. So I think the Libras who are really most likely to break people's hearts are the ones that have a very high perception of themselves. The ones that are a little bit narcissistic and hold themselves in really high regards and end up thinking that no one else is really good enough for them. So then they'll pass up and hurt a lot of really fantastic people because of that. Uh, but most Libras, they seem like they're pretty good relationship partners from what I've seen. Um, I haven't seen most of the Libras I know like do anything awful to their significant other. But if they do, they probably did it for like the sake of revenge. Like, oh, this is what that person deserved. And maybe they only deserve it because 
they're not good enough and you know they're just being narcissistic and holding themselves in this high regards and they think their partner isn't good enough or they're like oh they did x y and z to me so i decided that this is fair for blah 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 reason but really it might just be because that's what they wanted to do like they just wanted to like run off with someone else instead but libra is always going to try to make up an excuse for their actions and find a way to say that it was fair even if it wasn't so next up we have scorpio now let me think what scorpios do i know who have broken people's hearts uh scorpio usually gets a really bad rap I think most people probably click this video thinking Scorpio is going to be like the biggest heartbreaker here. Um, I've never had my heart broken by a Scorpio, but some of them do end up getting like really secretive and just really afraid of sharing their truth with people. So uh, they might end up cheating for that reason. And this definitely isn't all Scorpios, um, but I've seen some who do, and it's going to be the like really elaborate cheating like oh we've been married for 12 years but i've been having an affair for like a let like for like 13 years before we even got married and you didn't even know it so that's that's scorpio for you uh next up we have sagittarius um sagittarius is very opportunistic i actually <laughs> uh, one time my tires blew out and i got stranded on the side of a road the road and a Sagittarius used it as an opportunity to try and get a date with me. And, you know, he, he was nice and there was nothing wrong with him. I just, you know, I wasn't interested. I just wanted to get my tires fixed and get off the side of the road. Um, but yeah, Sagittarius is going to act like they're really, really interested at first. And if they're not interested in you at all, they won't pay any attention. Like they won't even give you the time of day. They will completely pass you up for someone else. But when they get their sights on someone, they take it very seriously. And they will absolutely put their best foot forward, do whatever they have to do to woo you. But then if something happens and they just like realize, oh my gosh, this isn't my soulmate, then they will lose interest just as quickly. And that's how they break people's hearts. So next up, we have Capricorn. Capricorn is the goat fish of the zodiac. Yes, the goat slash fish a goat with a fish tail. That is what Capricorn is. So how they break people's hearts is kind of a little bit more like what Virgo does. And usually they will be intentionally mean. Like they will decide that there's something about you that just isn't right and they can't put up with it anymore. And they will start doing what they can to tear you down. And maybe it's because you already ended the relationship and you already tried to break up with them and they think that isn't fair that isn't fair that you didn't give them the chance that they deserved, and they invested in the relationship and you didn't give back so they too kind of like cancers um can be kind of spiteful next we have aquarius the water bearer now aquarius as the water bearer is also a humanitarian so they care about everyone and they want to give everyone water and they want to give everyone love and show everyone affection so what does it mean for them to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship like this is my only soulmate wow how is that supposed to be my only soulmate like that's not fair why aren't all these other people my soulmate too like we're all brothers and sisters we should all love each other we're all gonna be soulmates so it's really unlikely that they're ever going to treat their relationship partner better than they will treat their next door neighbor and maybe they treat their next door neighbor super well maybe they buy gifts for their next door neighbor you know Aquarius I think they they intend to be good-hearted people um, but they can also be very hurtful and that oh I bought my next door neighbor a birthday present but then you know for my wife's birthday I just I got her a coupon you know she can like she can go buy herself dinner and they might not even like really realize that because in their head that's fair like everyone should be treated the same and I think that's how they're heartbreakers and it's always those little decisions that they make consistently that break the hearts of the people who are in love with them now last but not least we have Pisces 
the fish and the fish that swim in opposite directions. So Pisces is one sign that's just kind of like all over the place and they're really interesting people a lot of times, um, but they seem to never be certain about anything. Like they lose focus and they question things a lot, which is great and necessary to some extent, but then it's like, holy crap, Pisces, we've been married for 40 years. Why are you still wondering whether or not we're meant to be together? Like, I've put so much into you and I loved you so much. Um, but Pisces are always questioning things. So I think that's how they end up breaking people's hearts. And it's over this, this long, long period of time that it will happen. Well, anyway, um, I hope you found the video insightful and entertaining. Leave a comment below letting me know what you think. I know probably a lot of people are going to be really mad at me because I said some not so great things, uh, but I hope no one sees this as a personal attack because it definitely isn't. It's just observations, and I know we all make mistakes. We all have our faults, um, but astrology empowers us to try and be the best people that we possibly can. So I will see you guys soon. Make sure you're subscribed and leaving comments, whether they're nice or mean. Talk to you later. Bye.